Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Inventor and SolidWorks. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is their layouts. SolidWorks' workspace is sectioned into three main environments, part, assembly, and drawing environments. The part section is utilized for modeling individual parts to a bigger and more complex solid. As its name suggests, the assembly section is employed in part-to-part -part assembly processes to come up with a multi-parts complex solid. Whereas the drawing section is utilized for drafting blueprints and other functions such as generating user manuals to the designed models. On the other hand, Inventor's workspace is sectioned into six different environments. These include the part section for customary modeling, sheet metal part, assembly, weld meant assembly, drawing, and presentation sections. Therefore, SolidWorks' fewer workspace sections offer a friendlier user interface. Pricing and Licensing SolidWorks comes in three different pricing options basic, professional, and premium access. The program's prices range from about $4,000, $5,495, and $7,995 for a perpetual license or about $1,300, $1,495, and $1,995 annual subscription for the three plans respectively. The program also comes with an educational plan for students, costing much cheaper, about $100 annually. Contrarywise, inventors' prices are only periodical, recurrent subscriptions after a specified time. Its prices include $290 monthly, $2,300 annually, or $6,555 every three years. The program also comes with a flex plan, offering a license based on tokens for a limited time, with prices directly proportional to the bundles purchased. Both SolidWorks and Inventor's prices are subject to change. Therefore, Inventor is more pocket-friendly, as its flex plan can be accessed in numerous pricing options. System Requirements SolidWorks necessitates at least 22 gigabytes of free disk space 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 3.3 gigahertz or higher processor. Inversely, Inventor requires at least 40 gig of free space on disk, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 2.5 gigahertz or a higher processor. Therefore, SolidWorks necessitates more affordable system requirements. But do they have any similarities? SolidWorks and Inventor have numerous similarities. First, both their recent versions operate suitably with Windows 10 64-bit and Windows 11 64-bit. Equally, neither of them is supported by Mac OS or Linux. Lastly, they both provide free trials before subscriptions and various prices. To sum up, which is better, SolidWorks or Inventor? I found Inventor to be a good option regarding cost-effectiveness and price flexibility because of its flex plan. However, SolidWorks is a much better option for me due to its compatibility with less demanding system requirements and simplified user interface with fewer workspace environments. I choose SolidWorks as the overall winner because of its less demanding system requirements and ease of use. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.